Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to be building QR code generator and as you can see this is the final project. I created this with React. The UI I'm, I'm using Tailwind because I love Tailwind so much and also this color here I'm using a React color package. Okay so this package here and also the download functionality we don't have QR code so we don't see the download here. So let's generate the uh qr code so i'm going to paste the url here and let's use this red color and if i click generate qr code as you can see we have loading skeleton and then we get the qr code really nice and also here we have the download button if i click download button as you can see we get the image here with png format really nice so how this is work is basically you can download qr skinner in your phone and if you uh, scan this qr code you will get this url here all right so this download functionality i'm using file server package this one here pretty simple to use that and also for the api i'm going to use qr tiger api and as you can see here this api have a lot of customization and as you can see here we ha we can set to circle we can even put logo in the center really nice and as you can see the pattern there's a lot of different pattern here you can use and also the color you can use gradient and a lot of things really really nice if you just want to generate qr code you can go to qrcode-tiger.com and you can select anything you want here you can select url vcard file uh, you can select app store wi-fi mp3 facebook there's a lot of things that you can use in here for example i'm going to use url and i'm going to generate static qr and let's put this url here and i'm going to click key, generate qr code and as you can see in the right here we get the qr code and also here i can change the pattern and as you can see it's immediately make a post request and our qr code is immediately changed we can also change the eyes here and as you can see we can use this square we can use this circle there's a lot of option here and as you can see whatever you want whatever you like you can do that in here and also we can add logo and as you can see we can upload image i'm going to upload this logo here and as you can see we get logo in the center really nice and also we can set the color and as you can see here we can change whatever color we want and this is immediately changed okay it's make a request every time we make a change in this input field really cool and also in this background here we can also change that for example i'm going to use this dark and as you can see really really cool i'm going to use white i think all right and also we can choice the frame we can use this one we can use this one here we can use this one okay that's a lot of option here you can use okay you can change the title here to whatever you want for example i'm going to put chandev and it's going to be automatically chandev here you can download as a png or svg anything you like okay really cool this website is really really cool and yeah let's go back to the final project here and let's create this project all right so in here i have already generated create rack app so let's open the project into vs code so i can say code get uh qr code okay so it's going to be open our folder into vs code so in here i'm going to make it bigger so you can see and also the text i'm going to make it uh, bigger so let's say 18 maybe so let's open a app okay it's 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 okay and let's open the terminal and i'm gonna say yarn start okay no let's say yarn start okay, that's going to be open uh localhost 3000 in here i think so here we go okay so now let's remove a couple file that we don't need. App.js, test, the logo, report web file, setup test. We are going to remove all this. 
and go to index let's remove this one here and also up here okay i'm doing this to all my tutorial i think let's go to uh, index css let's remove that and let's go to app.js and i'm going to remove all this header all right and put h1 let's say hello okay and i'm going to remove this class name app and also up here okay it's going to be showing just hello in the browser here we go now we need to install the Talvin css let's go to documentation framework guides create react app and we need to just copy this and put to another terminal here i'm gonna paste that in here and hit enter all right so it's done now let's go to Talvin config here and let's go back to the browser and i'm gonna copy this one here put in here okay and save so now let's copy this index css let's go to index css paste that in here save and yeah i think we're done so let's close this terminal and we need to restart the server all right so now let's go back to the app.js file here and in here i'm going to add the uh, gradient background so let's go to talent css and let's go to the background uh down here okay the gradient color stops and you can create any color you want but i just want to use this color so let's just copy that and put it here okay so if i save and let's take a look what we have um this one here so we need to set the hake to 100 view hake so in here i'm gonna say hake to screen which is 100 view hake and also wait also the padding top i'm gonna set that to uh 36 and also the padding horizontally i'm gonna set that to two okay so now save and let's take a look all right we have the halo here nice all right so in here i'm going to add a div again so let's say div and in this div i'm going to add the class names that equals to container i'm going to wrap everything inside a container and add a mx auto to make it a center and also the maximal width i'm gonna set that to 4xl okay which is 56 ram and the background let's set to white and also the rounded i'm gonna set that to let's say medium i think and just add a shadow let's shadow okay and inside this div i have another div this is for the grid okay so in here i want to say class name and this grid is just apply in the medium large and extra large okay so we can see medium we can see medium and more we need to add grid okay and medium and more i need to add grid column to let's say three okay so inside in here basically we have for example let's say input for now input and the qr code here okay so if i save and let's take a look as you can see we have input and qr code in the right okay cool if i open in the mobile as you can see it's going to be one column because this is just a fact in the medium and large all right so let's go back so now let's create a component called input form so i'm going to create another folder inside a source here let's say components folder and inside of this component let's say input form in out <laughs> input form okay the js file okay so in here let's say rrfce and again let's remove the react up here and put uh, the input form in here let's say input form okay cool so now uh, we should see input form okay so in input form here I need to add class name here and set the column span to two okay because we need to the form the input form is going to be start from here until here okay uh, you can see in the uh, let's see grid let's say grid column star n it's something like this one here okay we create something like this four and five here Okay, really similar okay so let's go back and in here uh, basically we need to add some class in here so let's put the padding to six 
and also I'm gonna set that to grid and also the gap which is the space I'm gonna set that to 4 okay so inside this div here I have another component so let's create this uh, component in here I'm gonna give a name input field okay input field dot js file so let's generate functional pass component remove the react and put the input field here so let's say input field so now we should see input field okay nice let's go to input field so in here what we need to do is remove this text and in here let's put a label and let's remove the html4 we don't need this and also the label i'm going to say your uh, url okay and let's style in this a little bit i'm going to add class name set equals to the font is going to be semi bold way me bold <laughs> not way me bold semi bold nice and also the text is going to be medium okay and also down here we have the input field all right the type is going to be url okay i'm going to make it like this let's say class name set equals to the width i'm going to set it to full and the border let's say two and also the padding vertically to one and padding horizontally i'm going to set that to three and text color let's say gray mm, 700 i think and the rounded i want to set that to small all right so the placeholder the placeholder i'm going to set that to https colon slash slash let's say example.com all right so now save and let's take a look we have beautiful input url here nice so down here we need to add another input field which is input color so let's create the component in here let's give a name input color dot js file okay so let's generate rrfce rrfce and hit enter and i'm gonna remove the react let's go to input form let's render the input color here okay we should see input color nice so now let's go to input color and i'm going to remove this text and let's go with label first okay and this label is basically color let's just say color and we need to styling this of course so class name set that equals to the font i'm going to set that to semi bold and also the text let's say uh, medium okay and down here i'm going to add a div okay this div is basically have a class name called flex and item center and also the gap i'm gonna set that to let's say two so inside this flex we have two component the first thing is the square with color and we can click the square color and in the right side we have the value the color value so first let's create a square so in here i'm gonna say class name set equals to the width i'm gonna set that to 10 the height let's say 8 and also the cursor i'm gonna set that to a pointer and also the border i'm gonna set that to 4. all right so let's add a style here okay let's put wait <laughs> let's put like so i'm going to say inline style set that equals to and in here i'm going to create the background and the color is going to be come from the state okay because we need to state is going to be updated when we change that so in here i want to say cons let's say color and set color okay set color and the color is let's say you state by default i'm going to use a value called let's say zero five or zero eight zero okay this color here and i'm going to put this color into this background like so and let's see in the browser we should see this square here and as you can see really nice but when we click nothing happened for now it's okay so now let's go to down here down this diff we need to create span okay so this span is basically will be render the color the color value like so so now we have this value here nice all right so next we need to render the color picker down here when we click this square color so now here we need to handle first 
the on click on this div here. So I'm gonna say on click set that equals two. And the first thing is let's create a state. Okay, so let's say cons and let's give a name display color picker and set display color picker. It's a long name, but it's okay. So let's say equals to use state by default is going to be false. Okay. And when we click at this square here, what we need to do is I'm going to set the display color picker back to display color picker. Okay. When the display color picker is false, we are going to change that to true. It's true. We need to change that to false. Okay. And also down here, what we need to do is if the display color picker is true, we need to show the color picker here. Okay. So now save and let's take a look. If I click this, now we have show color picker. If I click that again, it's hide. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is go to real color here and we need to install the package. So where is the install? Right here. Okay. You can use npm or yarn. I'm going to use yarn by the way. So let's go to terminal and I'm going to say yarn at Ria color. So hit enter and wait for that. All right. So it's done now. So let's close this terminal, this terminal as well. And let's remove this text here. And in here, I'm going to render the Chrome picker is come from Ria color. Just make sure you import up here. And this Chrome picker have a property called color, so that it goes to color, okay? And also have on change. This on change, we are going to handle that with a function called handle, let's say handle uh, change, okay? So let's create this function up here. So I wanna say, we need to cons, of course, cons handle change, so that it goes to colors. And we need to set the color into color dot hex. Okay, we need to use hex decimal value, which is something like this one. All right, yeah. So now let's save and let's take a look. If I click this, we have this real color here, real picker. If I click that again, it's gonna be gone. So I need to add some styling here. So I'm gonna wrap this with div. So I'm gonna say div. Okay, and put that inside this div and let's add class name set equals to it's gonna be absolute and margin top i want to set that to two all right so now save and let's do that again really nice really really nice all right so the next thing is we need to add a button here down here we need to add button and this is going to be generate qr code so let's go back to input form down here. Let's put button here and the text, let's say, generate QR code, all right? So in this button, we need to add class name set equals to the background. I need to say blue 400 and also the maximal width, let's say uh, extra small and the margin left, I'm gonna set that to auto and the padding horizontally let's say four and the padding vertically i want to set that to two okay the text is going to be white and also this is going to be rounded let's say small and margin top i want to set that to four and also when i hover this a uh, button i need to change the color so i can say hover background let's say blue i'm going to set that to five hundred and also if the disable okay if the disable is true we need to change the background to gray let's say three thousand three hundred <laughs> not three thousand so now save and let's take a look we have the generate qr code here really cool and if i put a disable here disable set it to true now as you can see that the color is changed is depend on the background you put in here okay really nice so now let's create the qr code component as you can see in input form not input form in app here this qr code okay we need to add a component in here 
So let's create the component called qrcode.js file. And in here, I'm gonna say rrfce, rrfce, and hit enter. And I'm going to render the QR code in here. Let's say QR, not kitty, QR code. All right, we should see QR code. Nice. Let's go here. And what we need to do here, basically, so let's remove this text here. And in diff, I'm going to add the class name, set that equals to the background. I'm going to set that to gray 100. And also the rounded, I'm going to set that to, let's say, rounded. Uh, right into uh, medium and I'm gonna put display flex in here and the flex direction I'm gonna set that to column and also the items let's say item center and justify to center as well okay so inside in here we have diff and inside this diff I have image okay I have image and button basically down here so I say button and this button have a text called uh, download and this image for now I'm going to get the image come from QR generation here uh, the frame I'm going to make it uh, nothing here and let's go to the preview and I'm going to copy this link and let's paste that in here Okay, for now we are gonna use this. For the alt, I'm gonna say key R code. Okay, so now save and let's take a look. This is what we have. Okay, so now let's style in this image a little bit. I'm going to add class name, set it equals to the width. I'm gonna set it to 48. Okay, and this button here, I'm going to add the class name, set it equals to uh, the background. I'm gonna set it to blue 400. And also the text is gonna be uh, white and also the margin top I want to set that to 2 padding horizontally 4 padding vertically I'm gonna set that to 1 and the width I'm gonna set that to let's say full okay so now save and let's take a look this is what we have as you can see really really nice so next let's create the context API because in input field here i need to the value is available in app.js file and also this color value here will be available in the app.js file you can create state in here and put the uh, value like this one and you grab the value in the input form right here you can grab the value and also you can send the value in this down here as well but it's not clean all right so that's why we need to create the context API. So in here, I'm going to make a comment here. So let's say create context, just simple uh, context API here. It's going to be create, All right? So in here, let's say export. I'm going to say cons and just give a name input value. So that equals to create context. It's come from React. Just make sure you import up here and also inside this app function we need to say cons input value and let's say set input value so that equals to use state by default i need to uh, object here and this object basically have a url key by default it's empty string and also the color okay by default it's also empty string oh yeah this is going to be cons like so so now we need to create another variable called let's say value set that equals to i need to send the input value and i'm gonna send the set input value so now we need to wrap these two components inside the input uh context hmm. Oh, it's going to be input context, not input value. So let's say input context, and we need to wrap this with input context dot, let's say, provider, like that. So now we need to put these two components inside this input context dot provider. And also in this input context dot provider, we need to set the value, set it to value. It's come from this. Okay. So now this value here will be available to these two components. 
So let's go to input field first. So in here, what I'm going to do, let's say cons, uh, set that equals to use context, come from React, and we need to put the input context here. It's come from app. Okay, just make sure you import up here. And what we need to grab here is basically the input value and also the set input value because remember we send the input value and set input value as a value in this provider so now of course we can access that okay so if i console log the input value we should have a object with a url and color so let's see as you can see we have object color and url nice so now we can put the value set that equals to input value dot url in here all right and also we need to handle the on change set that equals to let's say handle on change okay so it's gonna be capital c all right so i'm going to copy and create the function up here so i'm gonna say cons handle on chain set that equals to arrow function and this is going to be uh have event and i'm going to set the input value to i'm going to grab the previous input value and i'm going to grab the url and i'm going to set that the url into e the target the value so now if i save and let's take a look but let's console lock the input value so you can see input value all right so let's go to inspect and i'm going to open my console and let's type in something in here as you can see rs is updated okay if i delete it it's updated as well nice it's working so now let's go to the input color uh of course it's really similar so we can just copy where's that we can copy this uh use context go to input color and we can do down here let's give a comment let's say context and in here i'm going to paste that in here and the use context just make sure you import from react and input context just make sure you import from app so now in here we need to update the value inside the use effect so let's say use effect it's come from react up here okay so let's say use effect so that equals to arrow function and the def dependency is going to be a uh, color okay and also in here we need to set the input value to we grab the previous input value say in put value and also the color we need to change that to Let's say color all right so now save and let's take a look at that again in the console let's see in a console here we have a lot of object and as you can see the color here if i change the color to another color as you can see it's updated all right so nice cool so i think we're done with the ui so now let's working with the api so let's go to this uh krtiger.stoplight.io i'm going to put link in the description and in here, basically, you can uh, try the API, but before that, you need to use your API key. So to get the API key, you need to go to your, uh, let's see, my account. Of course, you need to sign up first. Just go to my account and go to settings, and this is your API key, all right? You need to copy and paste your uh, code, okay? so now let's go to the uh, kr tiger stop light in here basically you can create dynamic kr code or static in this case i'm going to showing you how to create the static kr code so in here the authorization is going to be bearer and api key i'm going to put my api key in here okay and if i click the send api request and as you can see we get the response here okay this is basically the kr code Okay, have a format PNG. If I open in the browser, and as you can see, this is going to be the result. And of course, basically, you can customize anything in here: the size, the color, dark logo, the eye counter, eye inner, anything you want, basically. 
so you can see the uh, all the key in here okay the available the key are category is going to be string and it will be url v card facebook etc and the text is going to be string size logo you can put whatever you want in here okay and down here you can see the i counter you can put i counter zero i counter one okay really really cool documentation you can see here okay but in this case i just want to make it simple project like this one here all right so now let's go back so next let's just copy this body parameter here i'm going to copy that and i'm going to create the variable call let's say cons let's say body parameters okay and i'm going to set it equals to object okay this object here so basically we need to put size to the default value the logo we don't use the logo here and let's remove the background color let's make a default transparency make it default and kr category is url and the color dark is basically come from the input value so we can say input value dot color all right and also the text the text here is going to be input value dot url it's come from the state all right so next i'm going to create variable called config so that it equals to it's going to be object and inside this object let's put headers and it's going to be object again and this is basically the authorization here i'm going to copy the authorization text all right the authorization is basically bearer let's use this one here okay bearer i want to put it here and space and our api key i'm going to put just copy just cut that out and put it in here okay so of course you can put your api key in env variable or environment variable but for now just want to put that in here just for make it simple so down here i'm going to create the function so i'm going to say cons get key code so that it goes to it's going to be asking a function so let's say like so and in here i'm going to use try and catch so let's say try catch we grab the error and then down here we grab the finally all right so we need to create the state here so let's do and the first thing is going to be the response so let's say response set response so that it was to use state by default it's going to be empty string and also we are going to create the let's say the error and loading so let's say error and set error the default value is gonna be let's say null and also down here it's gonna be the loading and uh, set loading the default value is gonna be false all right so now in the async await function in here but first of course we need to install axios so let's say yarn at axios all right so now it's done let's close this terminal and in try here i'm going to set the loading to true first and then i'm going to create a variable called respond set that equals to it's going to be await for axios dot post okay we make a post request in here so the url is going to be let's go back this thing here because i'm going to create static uh, qr code so i can use this url so let's put here and the second parameter is going to be the body parameters let's go here i'm going to put the body parameters and for the third parameter is going to be the config okay so i want to put it here all right so now down here i'm going to set the respond to respond.data.url okay and also if something wrong we need to set the error to error and finally if everything is done we need to set the loading back to false so now we need to send the function here into the context api so you can put it here we need to also send the response so let's say the response 
the loading and also the error so first let's go to input form because we need to run this get kr not kr not kitty kr come on man kr and this is gonna be kr so we need to run this get kr code inside this button here okay when user click the generate kr code button we need to run the function so in here of course we need to get the uh, get kr code okay so that equals to wait what happened oh come on man use context come from react and we are gonna put the input context come from app okay so when the button is click so let's say on click set it equals to in here i'm gonna say handle let's say handle submit okay let's create the function up here so i want to say cons handle submit set that equals to error function and in here i'm going to run the get qr code function like that all right so now let's go to the qr code and of course we need to just copy this one here and go to qr code all right so let's paste that in here but in here we need to grab the response response the loading and also the error okay so now just make sure you import the use context and the input context as well so now here i'm going to console log the response so you can see the response of the api so now let's go back to the final project we get blank something wrong here so let's go to console and let's see cannot access get qr code before initialization at app um so let's go to app here i think we need to put the value down here all right down here like that so now save and let's take a look okay everything is work so now let's try to generate qr code i'm going to grab this link here and put in here and also let's change the color this dark here all right and let's click generate qr code and as you can see we get the result in here if i click we get the dark here that's mean it's working all right so now we need to showing this qr code in this uh qr code image so now let's go to qr code and we need to just remove this uh string here the url so now we need to put the response in here all right here we go cool so now i'm going to handle the loading and the error but i'm gonna paste the final project in here the loading this is just simple skeleton and uh, if error we just uh, render the sorry something went wrong just just like that so in here we need to make a condition because if i save and if i refresh and as you can see by default it's still showing up we don't need that so we need to say let's say if the response have a value we need to render this uh, diff else we need to render something else so let's put this diff inside the condition true here and if the response is doesn't access meaning if the first time we go to this website we need to put a diff here okay just diff and i'm gonna say your qr code will showing here all right and at class name here i'm going to change the text to gray say 500 okay so now save and let's take a look as you can see the first time we refresh the browser we get this text here so now as you can see the download is not working so if i paste that in here if i generate we get loading and then if i click download nothing happened because we don't handle that so in here we need to use this package which is the file server so first we need to install that so i'm going to open the terminal and i'm going to say yarn at file dash server okay so hit enter all right so it's done let's close this terminal and the first thing is in the download here i'm going to add on click so let's say 
on click set that equals to i'm gonna say download image so let's create the download image function up here so let's say cons download image set that equals to arrow function and in here we need to use save as function from a file server so let's import that first let's say import the save us it's come from the file dash server okay and the first parameter is going to be the url which is the response and then the name of the file so in this case i'm going to say kr code.png okay so now save and let's take a look if i go to the final project here if i click download as you can see down here we download the file really nice but now as you can see here if i remove all the url the button here is not disabled so let's go back to input form and i'm gonna go to this button here i'm gonna set the disable set that equals to we need to import the input value first so let's say input value and in here i'm gonna say if input value dot url is empty i need to the button is disabled and as you can see this is work so now let's try i'm going to copy this and paste that in here i'm going to generate qr code and i get the result okay i'm going to change the color to maybe red and if i click generate qr code it's working and also i can download that and i can see the result here really nice and the last thing is i'm going to change the title here let's go to public index and this title here is going to be get qr code okay so now save and let's take a look we have the gear get qr code all right so it's nice so now this is the final project guys hope you learned something new and see you in the next video and bye